So yet another day of overcast skies. The weather just does not want to cooperate. So I thought I would rectify the situation by bringing us to an extra scenic view. We're standing right at the base of Lake Minnewaska in New York State. And I was way, way, way up there just a few moments ago, but I made the steady decline all the way down here so that we could get up close and personal with the water. I thought that this would be an optimal spot to do a couple candle evaluations. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. Let's do it. Box. Did I tell you I have a P.O. box? I told you, but just in case you, you missed it, I have a P.O. box. I want to encourage you to send anything you want, uh, anything that has to do with aroma or fragrance, as long as it's family friendly, G rated, I'm all good with it. Anything, whether it's candy, whether it's a soda pop, whatever it may be, don't spend a lot of money. If it's a product that you love or a product that you hate, it'll be fun either way. And if you're a candle company, a fragrance company, and you want me to review your products, uh, yeah, by all means, the deal is you send me stuff. I open that stuff, I smell that stuff, and I share my thoughts. That is the deal. So if you have an Etsy company, if you have a candle company, big or small, doesn't matter. In my description below, there's an email, contact me. Maybe we can work together, collaborate on a project. And that's precisely what's happening today. We have a company by the name of One Fur All. Fur as in puppy dog fur. This company is geared towards pet friendly fragrances, which is really cool because I am a dog person. Dogs have always been a large part of my life. Making sure they're safe and making sure they're healthy and living a happy, uh, full life is seriously important to me. I really wanted to see what these folks were up to. And I spoke with the proprietor, David, and he sent a couple products my way. It says glass right here. So I'm guessing there's candles in here. So there's nothing left to do but to open up this box and see what we're dealing with. One for all, the return address here, Hollywood, but not the Hollywood you're thinking of. Hollywood, Florida. Where's Hollywood, Florida? Is that close to Disney World? There we go. So right on top, we have some literature, business card, and a personalized letter. Don't mind if I do. Dear Shane, that's me guys. Thanks so much in advance for reviewing a pet house candle. As parents of numerous pets, we felt that there was a need to create a fresher home environment for our families. Our goal was to create products that are effective, beautifully fragrant, safe, and decorative. After creating numerous prototypes and testing countless times in our own homes, we finally came up with the winning formula and design. We have 100% natural soy wax, absolutely no paraffin, hand poured, dye free, reusable jar made in the USA, odor neutralizer, infused with essential oils. In addition, we are advocates for rescue and adoption. We've donated countless hours to help care for rescued animals and promote their adoption. Also, we have created a rescue fundraiser program to help nonprofit, non kill rescues to raise funds to pay for vaccinations, medication, and surgical care thank you again for your help all the best david thank you very much david i really admire your passion for what you're doing keep up the good work all right so inside the box uh so it looks like we have two candles looks like a little individual pocket and there we go one for all mango peach and the first thing i'm noticing is this 360 degree satin label you know that label is going to look really nice when that candle is lit i just want to point that out <sighs> man all right peaches and cream for days and if you really want to simplify it, just think of Dannon's peach yogurt or Yo Play's peach yogurt. Fruit on the bottom, hope on top sort of deal. Super luscious Greek yogurt with that really ripe, sweet peach chunks. And what I mean by super sweet is concentrated peach. 
think of peach schnapps. And speaking of that, this is reminding me of a Viognier. Viognier is a grape varietal. Uh, it's most known from coming from the northern region of the Rhone Valley in France. And when you smell it, it can have this definitive peaches and cream aroma on the nose. In uh, blind wine tastings, this is how sommeliers detect whether or not they have Viognier in the glass. So they're looking for that peaches and cream note. And that's going to tip them off that they have Viognier. And that's what I'm smelling here. But let us not forget about mango. I'm not just smelling the meat of the mango. I'm actually smelling the peel of the mango, of that peel. You know how it's like really fragrant and perfumey? It has that floral taste and uh, aroma to it. It's not really pleasant to eat, but it's really nice to smell. And you're getting both. You're getting that actual meat and a little bit of that perfumey peel of the mango in here. Very nice touch adding to that authenticity. Definitely some orange for sure. Again, a very exaggerated form of orange. Orange soda, orange Julius, orange soda pop. Yeah, you know, like orange popsicle, a very exaggerated sugarfied form of orange. I'm loving this. Okay, so now we really have to dig a little bit deeper. The fruit is going to be the bombastic part of this candle, but we really have to see what's happening underneath. And there's this cooling sensation happening, and I can't quite tell you for sure what I think it is, but there's a little bit of this cooling sensation to it. And since they're using essential oils, it really could be a number of things. Is it eucalyptus? Is it spearmint? Spearmint would make sense because that would have that cooling sensation. I wouldn't even be surprised if there's a little citronella going on in here. And remember, all of those things I just mentioned, citronella, eucalyptus, and uh, maybe spearmint, I don't know. Aren't they good for pets? Like, don't they keep away the parasites, the ticks, the bugs, all that stuff? So smells great and good for the dogs and I guess other animals as well. And let me tell you what that cooling sensation is accomplishing. It's taking all of that exaggerated sugar-fied fruit that we were just talking about, and it's giving it a dessert quality. Yeah, it's making it like this frozen treat, like orange mango peach sorbet. Oh my God, with a little bit of whipped cream on top. That is super refreshing. And this has got summertime written all over it, at least for me. All right, so there it is. Mango Peach by One For All Pet House Candle. In the last moments here, I was just about to put this down. There is an herbaceous side to this candle, but for time's sake, I'm gonna have to leave it at that. Really well done. Not just saying that, very well done. There is a significant amount of complexity in a candle that could just simply be a mango peach candy-esque candle. There's a whole lot more happening in this candle. Wait a minute. Mango peach, look at that. And the shape of the car freshener is in the form of a puppy print. Candle number two. Woo! And I can smell this already. I have no idea what it is, but I can smell it already. Mediterranean Sea. All right. So what's really cool is that they sent me both a literal candle and a proprietary or fantasy candle. And what I mean by that, a literal candle is stating exactly what it is, or at least uh, in part, mango and peach. And then Mediterranean Sea is kind of ambiguous. It can be a poetic expression of whatever the artist wants Mediterranean Sea to smell like. Sea, oceanic, maritime, nautical candles, been a big theme on this channel recently, hasn't it? I like it. It's certainly the time of the year for it. Here we go. Wow. This might take me a moment. My mind is being bombarded with descriptors. If you saw my Malibu episode a couple weeks ago, I was out looking for authentic smells of the coast, the coastline, the sea. I feel that sea candles can sometimes lack that authenticity. And there's something very authentic about the saltiness of this candle. And it's because that it has a little bit of that briny saltiness. And do not take that in a negative way. This fragrance is already swallowing me up and taking me places. 
numerous florals, somewhere in the realm of lily and lilac, perhaps a little bit of jasmine in there as well. I want to say orange blossom, a Polynesian association that's really uh, coming to my mind when I smell this. There's also a deep warmth, almost like molasses, uh, but there's a woodiness here. Poetically, we could say it's like a big chunk of driftwood floating at sea. But what I think is happening, perhaps the addition of amber, but I don't know because I'm smelling wintergreen. And whenever I smell wintergreen, my mind goes to birch because birch, uh, we've discussed this before, birch has that element of wintergreen to it. In fact, if you've ever had a birch beer before or uh, just a spicier root beer or a root beer barrel candy, definitely a warmth of birch, wintergreen, and perhaps amber as well. Got a little bit of brown sugar. And there's other forms of minerality here. Sea-like aquatic minerality, chalky limestone soils. What I think a lot of people are gonna enjoy about this Mediterranean Sea candle is that it does evoke a day at the sea. It certainly does, but it has a perfume quality. If you saw one of my recent, oh my God, guys don't move, but we have some baby duck action. I'm sorry, folks. I got interrupted by baby mama duck action. I can't help it. But yes, definitely a very pretty perfume smell to this candle. In fact, if you saw one of my recent episodes, I just went to Disneyland and I spoke with Ariel from The Little Mermaid. I asked her if we were to make a candle called Ariel, what would it smell like? What would some of the ingredients be? I think Ariel would love this candle. And with that said, if you're into the mythological creatures of mermaids or sirens, this is totally a fragrance. You're gonna wanna check out. Again, complexity is really one thing that this company's got going on for them. And because of those essential oils, these are going to morph, these are going to change uh, while they're burning as that fragrance is lingering in your living space. And another thing, just yesterday, a friend of mine, she contacted me and said if I had any recommendations for a sea breeze candle. Well, I think I have a suggestion and uh, I think I might just uh, send this her way because you know what, she's got a brand new puppy as well. So I think she'll get a kick out of this Mediterranean Sea candle. Hey, look, I really want to give a huge shout out to One For All Pet House. Uh, candles and for the viewers if you liked my descriptions anything that I said if it struck a chord make sure you go to the description box down below all of the social media links all the information that you're gonna need to know is gonna be down there to seek out further information for this company especially if these are the kind of folks who want to support you want to help their mission who are trying desperately to make a better world for our animals. As always, I wanna thank you folks so much for sticking with me, coming back for more and more. It truly makes my life much better. And if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed, I know there's some folks out there that, that are watching that are not subscribed, subscribe. It's really going to benefit all of us in the long run, I promise you. And if you don't end up liking the channel, you can unsubscribe and we'll still be friends, I promise. That's gonna do it for me today. I'm gonna take a few last looks at the lake. It uh, looks like it's gonna rain any moment now. I'm hoping for sun in the near future. Thanks again, once again. I appreciate you guys more than you can know. Have a good one.